Hey folks, Adam Merrick, USA Bass Anglers again. Uh, I did a video a little bit earlier covering a couple of basic knots. Uh, thought I would share another knot with you while I was thinking about it. And for this I'm going to be using braid. 65 pound. Uh, it's just some extra I've got. But a uh, 65 pound Pro. Uh, Power Pro braid. Uh, just gonna be a quick knot. I mean, you, you probably have to kind of play with it, uh, experiment around a little bit. I don't know, you might want to try it on a little bit of everything. You might want to, some people use it on crankbaits, chatterbaits. So, uh, I use various knots for different lures, but I just wanted to share this little tidbit with you. And uh, who knows, maybe you can benefit from it. But, uh, what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm going to use a uh, cotton cordell crazy shad. Uh, it's usually one of my pretty regular top water lures outside of the buzz bait. Speaking of which, uh, I can, uh, if y'all look, I don't know if you can find him on the net or if you can uh, find him on Facebook or what, but CJ Custom Lures out in Louisiana. Uh, he designed this buzz bait for me. It's a clacker buzz. Got the gold clacker buzz with a uh, like a chartreuse white uh, skirt and a chartreuse head, red eyes. But been pretty good bait all in all. Uh, got a little beat up on the rocks as you can tell. But anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is uh, just share with you real quick this uh, loop knot. I know a lot of people, I see stuff on Facebook all the time, people having trouble with braid knots and whatnot, but just take what you want to do. Well, I'm fixing to mess up on it first. Give yourself enough line, I'll give myself a little bit extra for this video. But take, make you a uh, loop. Make one loop, run your tag through the end of it. See that? I don't know if y'all can see like right there. But uh, I like to draw mine down a little bit. Still got the loop in the line. And then take your tag in. And uh, for your lure, take run that tag through your eye. And then... Take your uh, loop that you made and uh, run your tag through the end or through the middle of that loop. And then what you want to do is grab your tag line and your main line. Uh, suggestion probably won't run it about five times. I, I'm just going to run it about three for this video. But uh, take and wrap your tag around about three times, about, about five times. Five times is best. And then take your tag and just come right back through. I don't know if y'all can see it my big fingers or not. But, uh, camera person said it can't see it, so let me kind of get down here. But take your tag after you run it around about five times. And run it through your loop. Now, it's uh, really important because of the way I do it. You might have a different way uh, of doing it. I'm not sure, but the way I do it, I take, I grab a tag in, and I just kind of pull it too, about like that. And see, I'll cut my tag off and then voila, non slip loop knot. Allow that lure to act freely, and at the same time, you don't have to worry about it slipping, breaking, coming loose, or anything else. But that's just a little uh, knot sample. With braid, 
that I thought I would share with y'all. Uh, I'm working on another one for you. It's, it's been a real big issue about uh, braid and, and uh, I guess depending on what you choose to use, monofilament or fluorocarbon or whatever, but uh, I'll get back to y'all on that. But anyway, I hope that knot will serve you good. Good luck out there. Tight lines. We'll see you later.